hello everyone this is asmr if today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today i'll show you how to edit the photo like cloudy effects so these effects let's see what was the previous one this one was the previous one and after applying the preset you are getting this type of effects so how to do that let's see so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so at first i'll go to the file and open up and here is a doc image i downloaded this one and i'll give you that download link and photo credit link in my video description so after that press ctrl j for the new copy of this layer and that is the backup purpose layer and after that filter and camera filter you know camera filter is a plugins of photoshop creative cloud version and as well as the earlier version but in earlier version you have to install it manually and in a creative cloud you are getting this one by default and all the same panel as like the lightroom that means photoshop lightroom and you can use that things easily and you can make the preset so i made a preset for you guys and the, you can get the download link that preset and in my video description here is the load settings options go to here and here my the light rate that is the cloudy and open it up you will get this type of cloudy effects and hit ok so before that i want to share my settings with you what i have done in this panel so from the first one that is the basic panel here the temperature zero and tint plus 33 and the exposure zero and contrast plus 19 highlights minus 22 and shadow plus 45 and whites and blacks that's the zero if you need you can control or you can edit that you have that assumption and here the clarity zero variance zero but saturation i made it minus 53 and after that the tone curve from the blue tone curve you're getting like that so i have locked this curve over here and i made the edge in the upper side and here the green i just made in a middle in lock point and just a little bit upper and the red as well so tone curve is like that and the detailing i didn't touch that and here the hsl panel i made a change subtle change over there and that is the hue of the red minus 100 and the saturation plus 65 of the red and luminance zero and the orange luminance that is the plus 18 and saturation minus 53 and hue i didn't change that so and here green luminance i just made it minus 54 and the saturation 100 percent that means the plus 100 and the hue like that and here the saturation minus 100 that is the saturation of blue and the purple of the saturation i made it plus 12 and i didn't touch the luminance over here from the speed toning that is the highlight portion hue highlight the value of the hue is 141 and the saturation that is the 3 1 that means 31 and balance 0 and shadow i just made it 276 and the saturation i made it minus or like 14 is good for this one lens correction i didn't touch that and the dh i made it dh plus 28 and the vignetting that is plus 7 that's good in a camera calibration you know in a camera calibration there are three primary colors that means the red primary green primary and blue primary colors and from here i just made the red primary color that is plus 12 but saturation is minus 58 and a green primary i made it plus 28 and the saturation i made it minus 16 and blue primary minus 4 and the saturation that is the 54 so that's all and if you want to save this one just uh, you made some preset or you just getting some settings you can save that out here the save settings option you can save it out so let's see the before one and after one here the before one was like that and after one you are getting like that so that is the cloudy type effects for your photography and hit the ok button you will get the huge change of this so after that go to the adjustment layer and the color lookup from here you can use one of them so i used here from this one 
yeah and you can try it out all the things are over here so you can try it out so yeah that's good after that you make the fill that is the only 33 percent that's good and select these two layer make it group and make it merge after that i'll go to the filter again and nick collection and color effects pro color effects pro 4 that is the the belong to the nick collection and nick collection is a plugins another plugins of the photoshop you can download it and you can use it free of cost so i'll give you that download link in my video description so from here i'm using the cross processing this one and here lots of methods you can use one of them so for this case i'll use the l03 and here are some settings like uh, here is strength i'm just making um, like 33 uh, percent shadow highlight and hit okay so you're getting the change of your photography that was like that so before one was like that and after one you're getting like cloudy moody or whatever you can tell but it's really artistic for your photography purpose you know photography is art and if you want to represent your photography in an artistic way you have to know these type of things or techniques of the photoshop so i'm helping you out to make this type of um, uh, like artistic looks of your photography i have lots of preset in my video tutorial and you can collect them you can use them and uh, if you want to support me you can just like my videos and share with your friends and you can subscribe my channel and hope that you learn a lot from this video and if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section and if you want to download the presets and the plugins please check out my video description and the stock image as well and until the next video i am asmr signing out today bye bye